Hey, rollers, they say that you can't teach an old dog new tricks. But I beg to differ. I was delighted to find another competitor in his 50s at my most recent tournament, and we were about to show each other some new tricks. Evan and I met in the Advanced Nogi Masters Division. I could see that he looked strong, and when he slapped on a collar tie, I could definitely feel the power. He was pulling me into his game, and I wasn't sure how to answer it. I generally try to shrug off collar ties, as you can see me do here a couple of times, or duck for a single leg, but he kept locking it on. I thought he might be baiting me to explode upwards and expose my legs for takedowns, so I kept my head in the pocket and tried to use my own collar tie to reduce his control. He wrapped his right arm around my head for a guillotine, but I peeked through and used a body lock to take him down. <laughs> Great move, right? Except I was still in a guillotine, so I tried to move my legs to a crossbody position. My right leg was tangled up and Evan used a quick shrimp to get his leg over my back. He used a high elbow technique to prevent me from throwing my arm over. I defended by keeping my hips high and using my left hand to pull down on his wrist. The ref checked on me and I remember flashing him a smile. Evan was looking at the ref like, is he almost out? At this point I knew I was safe and I was happy to let him squeeze his arms out a little bit. He eventually abandoned the choke and it was time to do some guard passing. Generally, I like standing passes, but for some reason I stayed low. Before I could get anything going, Evan reached around my left arm and applied a grip that I had not experienced until then. Well, at least not like this. He was driving my hand downward and at the same time pulling my elbow forward and across. The pressure was kind of like a Kimura and it put me on full defense mode. I found myself forgetting about guard passing and focusing on how to free myself from this uncomfortable grip. This is one of the benefits of competing. You get to experience a variety of styles and techniques that may not be common with your regular training partners. Since the tournament, I've experimented with this grip myself, and it's become a tool that I sometimes use. That didn't help me at the time, though. Evan used it to complete a sweep, and I created just enough space to get in a couple of butterfly hooks. There's no way that Evan was going to let me posture up. He alternated between controlling my wrists and pushing me to my back. I kept battling for posture, eventually sitting out a bit so that I could lean forward and get an underhook. Evan wrapped up my head and fell back, but this time my legs were clear and I was able to advance to top side control. This was a close match and there wasn't a lot of time left, so I parked there to be sure I would get my points. I had a far side underhook and I wanted to use it to expose his left arm for an attack, so I worked my way across, cupping his tricep. He drove it to the mat, but in the process he exposed his back a bit and I jumped over to see if I could secure back control. I couldn't get the bottom hook, but I had a strong wrap on his neck. I brought my left arm in to apply some torque, but he reached back and peeled it away. I knew I didn't have the right angle to finish a one-armed choke, so I took a minute to weigh my options. I decided that my best bet was to try to pull him into full back control. I finally got my bottom hook in got my points, and then gave up my top hook to help control the position. I had already lost some control of his upper body, so I needed that deep hook with my left leg. Evan was controlling my choking arm, and he was working his head and back to the mat, so I started tapping into my new bag of tricks. I started fishing around with my legs to see if I could move to the truck, a fairly new position for me. He knew what was happening, so it wasn't the cleanest transition ever, but I worked into the truck and started pulling on a calf slicer. If he was like the young guy from a couple of videos ago, he would have fought the position longer and dealt with any damage to his leg later, but older athletes tend to cherish the ability to walk normally and to keep training, so he tapped. I understand the importance of basics, but one of the main appeals of jiu-jitsu for me is the exploration of new positions and techniques, because I guess you can teach an old dog new tricks. Please consider liking, 
joining my now 5,000 subscribers. Thank you. And leaving a comment. Thanks for watching.